Hi friends, it's Heather and I thought I would go ahead and show you today how to get started on designing your own background. Um, so you're going to want to go to your blog. I'm going to work on this debutante blogs, which is a new one I just created um, for our group and our experiments. Um, I'm going to go to design and next I'm going to go to template designer and you'll see that it's currently set to the simple blog background and I am going to change mine to the picture window because I like the way you have this transparent layer on top of your um, like background it just adds more depth um, I think so I'm going to go ahead now and since I've picked this I need to hit apply to blog and so now my blog will automatically be this type of um, template Next I'm going to go to my layout and there's many different um, layout options here so if you want to just have one big um, blog post and like not have any columns on the side you could do that but um, I like this one this is the one way I have my blog set up now um, where I have a column on either side and it's you know it works for me but you can choose whichever one of these uh, backgrounds or template layouts that you like Alright, so now that I've chosen my layout, I'm going to apply it to my blog. There we go. And now I'm going to go to background. Well, actually, let's go to adjust widths. Alright, um, here we have my left sidebar over here, my right sidebar. And this is at 180 pixels, and this one's at 180 pixels. And I am just going to make this one over here about maybe 230. And go with like two. I'll go 250 on this side and maybe I'll just make this one 200 and you remember in one of the other uh, videos I talked about the blinkies and the blog badges and they're usually around two something so uh, this is where you would come to look to see how big your um, column widths are and so if you want to tweak them a little bit by making them a little bit bigger instead of um, you know changing the gadget that you've added um, then that's fine so I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my blog and now it's been applied okay next I am going to go to background and I'm going to remove this image and a little window is going to pop up that says are you sure you want to remove this and yes I'm sure All right now if you click on this little down arrow you can either choose one of their images here which they have a lot of stock images but um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna upload our own image okay and I'm gonna go to choose file and I've got my Bella blog group and I'm gonna choose this blog template and this is a, um, a JPEG file and I will send it to anyone who's interested because it'll make it just much easier for you it's already um, kinda set up for this particular blog um, and it'll work good for you make your life much easier so I'm done because I've chose that one and now if you look at my blog it kind of looks a little off-center doesn't quite look right so you're gonna go up here to this alignment you're gonna click on the arrow and you're gonna center align it there we go and now it looks much better so if you look in the tile it's on tile here if you were to tile it um, don't tile it pretty much it still looks the same which is fine because um, I made this template a little bigger if you tile horizontally looks the same um, pretty much it's gonna look the same it doesn't always you know do that so if you were to get a background from the graphic fairy it may not work and you might have like these columns um, on a different side or something okay so now that I've applied that and you can see or I use that I'm gonna apply it to my blog okay and I'm gonna view my blog in a real window and I'm pretty happy with this alright so I'm gonna go back now to um, design template designer background and another thing I wanted to show you is that um, scroll with page you can take this on or off um, 
here you'll see everything kind of scrolls together. The whole blog moves up and down. But if you have scroll with page, you just have really just one layer moving. You just can't tell because there's nothing else on there yet. So I'm going to show you that again after we've added some items to our blog background. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead um, and just stop there so that you can see this video on how to apply your blog background, the template anyway. Um, and then we're going to open it uh, next in GIMP. So thanks, and if you have any questions, and like I said, if you would like this uh, background image that I have that will just make it easier for you, uh, just send me a message at Bella's. Otherwise, I'll post it in one of the groups there, um, and you can get it there. And if you're not a member of Bella's, you can just leave a comment on my blog, and I'll be more than happy to give it to you. Thanks, and I'll see you in a little while.